Hello guys, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Easy QS by Naomi, where we break down construction for you to become simple and real. So, uh, in today's video, this video will be for building students, those students who are uh, studying to become uh, professionals in the construction industry, civil engineers, quantity surveyors, and the building students. This video will also go to those people who are planning to build their own houses and they want to monitor costs of the buildings. And also, this video will go to contractors who want to have knowledge about estimating accurately. So we are beginning a series that is called uh, how to do unit rates for construction and I want to take you step by step to understand what units, unit rates are, where they are used and how they are calculate, calculated. So a uh, unit rates it's the cost per unit and when we are measuring buildings and uh, all elements of the buildings that is the walls the concrete the floor uh, we usually price it per unit a unit could be a meter or a, a meter square that is in area uh, it could be a cubic meter that is if we are measuring a volume or it could be a number for example how many doors uh, how many doors or windows are in a building so if you look at a bill of quantities we will be bringing you a bill of quantities to your screen so that you can go through it and see what a, a bill of quantities is for all those people uh, who are interacting with these things for the first time and we want to show you that uh, a bill of quantities you see first of all a bill of quantities that document that uh, has all the details of cost in it concerning a certain project so everything is priced therein so when contracts are being awarded uh, when a contractor is being awarded a contract by the client and given a go ahead to go ahead and construct that building a contractor must have come to an agreement with the client about how much the project is going to cost so the legal documents that is usually uh, used to show every detail of the cost is called a bill of quantities and in every Every tender, every tender that is given, particularly on infrastructure, that is construction of roads or buildings, at a, a bill of quantities has to be there. So this channel, actually the tutorials that go in here are about coming up with the bill of quantities, calculating and estimating the costs of these things of all the material, the labor, the plant cost, that is the equipment that shall be used and how contractors usually calculate for their profits and overheads, all right? So this uh, video is aimed to you uh, if you're a uh, building student. This is a very examinable unit uh, in Kenya. In the uh, previous system, which is the next system, uh, this unit was called estimation and costing too, uh, where we come up with the unit rates. Also, uh, in the new system where we have the SEDAC exams, it, estimation and costing is still present. So to all our students, if you're in Kenya, you can tell us uh, if you have seen this unit and if you're here for this unit so that we can know how to cost, cost, customize this uh, content. Uh, comment down below, tell us if you're here for the, uh, the, the unit rates, uh, tutorials uh, which are in estimating and costing too and how you're finding them and also i uh, remember this unit also as i teach it it will be speaking to you who is building and you want to estimate the costs of your building all by yourself or you want to monitor the costs even as the fundies continue on site all right and also uh, uh for the contractors if you want to be able to come up with the rate yourself to fill it in in the bill of quantities you will be able to calculate uh, the the cost itself you, so, you see sometimes the client asks for a discount and sometimes how we give the discounts sometimes could be so blindly that it leads you to a loss you see a unit rate will help you break down everything uh, that is in that cost from the material the cost of the materials you'll incur the even the cost of transportation of that material the labor cost that you'll be involved in coming 
up with that like for example a wall all the plants and equipment costs that you will encounter and all and then you will add the profits and the overheads if you are hearing me say overheads and you're wondering what an overhead is an overhead is that indirect cost to the const construction for example if the contractor has to fuel his car to come to the site, you see, uh, some of these costs that he, he encounter cannot be in his profit because his profit is what he goes home with. So these overheads are these indirect costs that are not usually priced in the construction as uh, materials or labor or plant costs, but they, they, they are these costs that will be indirect to the project, all right? So the contractor has always to uh, add a percentage for his profits and overheads all right so welcome so much to this series i want to begin and in the first um videos of this series we will be calculating how uh to to which we will be calculating how to calculate okay we will be coming up with the cost of the preliminary works you see before you start any construction maybe you're building your own home maybe you are a contractor that uh, has been awarded as a, a building to go and construct there are those um things that you must do prior to the beginning of the project all right these things are very important to the project but even as we uh, estimate the cost for the walls and the floors and the windows and the doors these costs are not directly there so if you look at me on my board i have written quite a number of stuff of what we want to cover today and what i want you first to understand is uh, what a preliminary is because preliminaries are these things that must be done before construction begins. You see, when we say construction, we mean that structure. If you're building a mansionette, we mean that mansionette. But uh, we don't mean anything outside that mansionette. All right. So where do we cost? Uh, where where do we cost the the price of the water, the electricity, the fencing, the washrooms? Uh huh. Where is this cost? As in, uh, how much should you pay a contractor to do uh, this work? All right, so uh, let us see. Uh, preliminaries, these are costs incurred on site that affect the cost of the project and are temporary in nature. All right, so they usually affect the cost of the project, but they are temporary in nature, such that these things we will connect them to site, we shall construct them, but most, of, most likely it's for the convenience of the construction process. After the construction, we may do away with them or we might change them. All right. For example, if we do a um, a mabati fence around the site, that is a fence made of iron sheets. Uh, the, with the mansionette, maybe the client wants first to construct the mansionette, then the perimeter wall. So this fence must must be temporary. All right. So there are costs incurred on site that affect the cost of the project and are temporary in nature, but assist in the smooth running of the project. Tell me, how do you construct a site without water? Okay, how do we do a site without electricity? And you see in modern day uh, construction, how much electricity is used. So the normal price, the normal range for the preliminaries, if you want to estimate just a rough estimate about how these um, preliminaries will cost, Without going to details, they are normally between 3 to 7% of the project cost. So, if your project costs 10 million, just take 3 to 7%. We could say 3% of 10 million, then say 10, 7% of 10 million, then it ranges between the two. Alright? So, uh, these preliminaries, they include one, holding or fencing, that fence that you're going to put on site. Uh huh. We shall have water water you see the connection of water and that is what we shall be calculating today as our first example about how we should co calculate for the cost of water during the construction project uh-huh we have electricity we need to connect the electricity and pay for the electricity bills we need to construct the washrooms you see the washrooms we have to dig out the, to excavate for the pit rations maybe and also construct the washrooms if we are using pit latrines on site or if we are connecting to the sewer line we need to 
facilitate for that then we have the site offices you see uh, there are people who will occupy the site office so the site office must be constructed how do we price it all right we have the access roads maybe this is a very big site so from the road up to where the construction is we have to do a road we have to do maram on that road so how do we price that so we have signboards you see on major sites where we have big projects we have to have signboards on site which states who is the architect, who is the structural engineer, uh, how, what is this project about. So that signboard, how do we price this? The, in this series, you'll be able to learn how to price this signboard. Materials, labor, and uh, how the contractor usually adds their profit and overheads. We also have security. What is a site without security? You see, construction is quite expensive and we really invest a lot of money into construction. So all these materials, because they are very expensive, we need to provide security. How do we come up with the cost of the security on site? Then we have, uh, finally, we have the site huts. If you're building in a place where you don't have houses around, you make it, the, uh, the the contractor might be required or might find it necessary to construct some sheds or uh, uh, on an, in another name site hut where his people that is um, the laborers will spend their nights all right so if you are uh, shipping people from so far away maybe you're going to build in an area where uh, they do pastoralism and you will have a project on construction and these people don't do uh, construction they are pastorates you have to ship people from way those people the the skilled and the unskilled rebellers and now because they cannot commute all right they have to stay on site so they will need site huts and they will need to stay on site so the site huts needs to be constructed how do we price for this site huts? so i think all of you can see that this is an amazing series and it's a series that the three groups of people that i stated needs to know if you are a student you have to know this because it's quite a, an examinable unit and you have to know how to calculate it all right so welcome so much to this series i'm so excited to be here with you and to be the ones who is taking you through this and uh as always i want to begin this series and i want to complete it so if you like this series kindly remember to tell us in the comment section that uh if you appreciate this one or can we change it and go to some el some something else you see this one i find i found that it really relates directly with uh one the students the contractors and also the the other uh, the people who are wants to build their own houses so kindly comment down below tell us if how we should improve what what unit rate you're longing to see how do you want if you want to know how to calculate the number of cements the reinforcement bars all those things will be able to do them here so the things i've listed here on the preliminaries these ones are just the things that we will do before construction begins but once we get to construction we will begin with every element of the building if it's concrete we will show you how to calculate the number of cement bags how to calculate the number of sand uh lorries of sand the cost you will encounter if it's ballast the 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 number of uh lorries of ballast how do you calculate uh how many tons of ballast and what is the total cost so i hope uh, it, the, uh this uh, series will be good for you and um i'm also long uh looking forward to sharing this one with you so thank you so much guys and i want us to begin with the first example that is how to calculate uh, the cost of water in a construction project